spring and early summer has arrived to our gardens, accompanied by nice warm sunshine and occasional showers. This is the perfect ingredients, of course, for the early growth of our favourite wild and domesticated plants. The big favourite here being the dandelion, buttercup and daisy. There is something magical about the contrast of the wild bluebell complementing the daisy in the lawn grass. Almost as though God is in his heaven and everything is right with the world. This brings us back to our childhood days, crossing over the meadows on our way to school, while golfing at the wild flowers with our hurry sticks just for the sport of it. It is now early June, and all of nature's best are in full bloom. The variegated poplar, copper beech and lilac appeared early, followed by the pink chestnut, and also present are the black thorn, red and white hawthorn, and stag's horn. The big tree standing in the centre is the weeping willow, accompanied by the mountain ash, golden and two-tone and forest flame. With a neat arrangement of Russian roses and primroses, which normally flower at Christmas week, providing the ideal contrast for this occasion. The wild fruit, now in full flower, is of particular significance here for cooking, jams or wine making. Elderberries are in abundance, accompanied by blackberries, sloes, blackcurrants, gooseberries, blueberries. The domestic vegetables planted last October are now in full flight. These include lettuces, onions, garlic, leeks, cabbages and the early crop variety of potatoes known as British Queen. Thank you. 
main crop of potatoes and corn notes, specially sown for the film, Blight of Fields of September, is now showing potential, and on course for harvesting in late August or early September. This scene represents the cottier's patch from the 1800s, which was his sole source of survival, living under the dictatorship of a repressive regime. While shooting the garden scene during the rambles of spring, Ward came through on the grapevine that the haymaking festival of Trim was taking place this Sunday. So to honour this occasion, we commissioned our high Nelly rally bicycle, put some oil in the chain, put our MP4 camera in the saddlebag and rode the 15 miles into Trim and hopefully bring you a few clips of this day's events. So we hope to see you all shortly in part two.